Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Myself Talib Afzal. I am a student of MSc Food Science. Today I am going to present my presentation on the topic biodiversity of peat. Before commencing my presentation, I would like to thank my course instructor Dr. Prashant Bakshi sir for giving me such an astounding opportunity and making our studies wonderful in these tough times. So without wasting much time, let's begin with the presentation. Here are the contents of my presentation. So let's begin with the status of biodiversity of peach. As you already know, the botanical name of peach is Prunus persica. Its family is Rosaceae, subgenus is Amagdalus, and chromosome number is 16. It's commercially grown in world between the latitudes of 25 to and 45 degrees above and below the equator. Its commercial cultivation is done in the countries like USA, Italy, France, Japan, Mexico, Korea, Greece, Spain, China, India. In India, peach cultivation is confined to the mid-hill zones of Himalayas extending from Jammu and Kashmir to Khasi Hills at an altitude of 1500 to 2000 meters MSL. Some low chilling varieties are cultivated in India in areas like Punjab, Haryana, Delhi and Western UP. Peach is also grown on a limited scale in hills of South India and Northeastern region. Let's start about origin and distribution of peach. Peach is originated in China. It's assumed that about 4000 years ago, peach was the first fruit crop domesticated in China. Peach swai moved to Persia, nowadays it's called Iran, along slick trading routes. In fact, the epithet Persica denotes Persia, which is why Europeans thought peach originated. Greeks and especially Romans spread the peach throughout Europe and England starting in 300 to 400 BC. Peach came to the New World with explorers of 16th to 17th centuries, with the Portuguese introducing it to South America and Spaniards to the North Florida coast of North America. Now let's talk about the spread of species. How species got spread for the world? Prunus tavidiana is an ornamental tree growing wild in northern China and used as rooster. The other two species, Prunus myra and Prunus ferginesis, are indigenous to Tibetan Plateau and Xinjiang province respectively. Let's talk about the centers of diversity of peach. There are two main centers of diversity of peach, is primary and secondary. Primary centers of diversity are areas of Tibet and Southwest China. And secondary centers of diversity are Iran, Central Asia, Caucasus, Moldavia, Italy, Spain, California. Let's talk about the classification of peach. Peach uh, have two classes. One is Prunus persica, variety domestica, and second one is Clingstone cultivar, as Prunus persica variety is vulgaris. Prunus persica variety Nusi persica is a nectarine. Moving to next slide, Prunus davidiana. Prunus persica variety Putanini is known as mountain peach, David peach or Chinese wild peach. Prunus, Prunus behemi, natural hybrid of almond and peach, finds its use as rootstock for almond peach plum. Prunus persica variety Compressa is known as flat peach or tomato peach and is a mutation of common peach. Prunus behemi called Pimi or Bihimi or Tyrol grows wild in dry temperature regions of Himalaya and reported to be natural hybrid between almond and peach. 
ornamental tree which are small deciduous plants mainly under prunus persica and prunus taveriana with glabrous branchlets serrated leaves and subsile flowers picture of prunus beanie and prunus davidiana now let's talk about how peach came to india it said that peach came to india during the reign of king kanishka by chinese hostages in 1st century ad mr a and d during late 19th century introduced many varieties of peach in himachal pradesh some low chilling cultivars are florisum floda red sun red nectarine are uh, successful introductions to north indian plains some cultivars that are good for cold conditions are july alberta alberta shawri coita bulbank and stark eligo some low chilling cultivars that came popular in subtropical belts of up and punjab states are florisum floda red shani punjab sharbati and sun red some promising cultivars of peach in major producing regions of india are that is chain ke himachal pradesh up are discussed here that is that require pollinators for fruits that are jet hail early hail alberta kendoka june alberta and hail heaven research on palm and stone fruits is conducted mainly by three state agricultural universities namely Shri Kashmir University of Agricultural Sciences and Technology of Jam J and K, Vice Parma University for Horticulture and Forestry, Madhya Pradesh, J B Pant University for Agriculture and Technology, U P, Temperate Fruit Research Station, namely Shalimar Bag in J and K, Mashruba in Madhya Pradesh and Chobatia in U P Hills made commendable progress in temperate fruits. Let's now talk about GI tagging. As you already know that every crop requires a specific climatic condition for its growth and development. These climatic conditions are responsible for imparting certain specific characteristics in that crop. So, GI tag acts as kind of certification or a reputation for those attributes to the crop because of its particular geographical origin a geographical indication registry with all india jurisdictions operates as per the geographical indications of goods registration and protection act 1999 a total of 193 products were registered under gi tag up to march 31 2013 large varieties of fruits in india of which mango banana citrus grape pineapple and apple are major ones apart from these fruits like papaya sapota anana falsa jackfruit pear pomegranate in tropical and subtropical areas and peach pear almond apricot strawberry in temperate regions are also grown in sizable area as i talked earlier that a specific climate is responsible for acquiring some unique characteristics to a particular variety of crop some examples of this are alfonso variety of mango in kokan region kesar variety of mango in gujarat baganpuri variety of mango in visakhapatnam region of andhra pradesh shahi variety of lychee in bihar likewise other varieties have specific characteristics because of their climate zone let's now talk about himachali chauli this product got its certification of gi tagging on 4th march 2019 chauli also known as wild apricot chullu cher or zardulu mostly used for making ganti a local liquor and some handmade products is grown in as wild in many parts of himachal pradesh namely shimla mandi kullu chamba etc the left or stones or pits after the processing is thrown as a waste which is otherwise used as a good source 
of edible oil which is rich in polysaturated fatty acids like linoleic acid oleic acid which is of adequate nutritional and pharmaceutical importance this chulli oil is extracted from both from chulli that is wild apricot and bemi that is peach bemi is a wild peach that is harvested from may to july and is highly perishable in nature these fruits are hairy with white yellow flesh bems are smooth skinned at maturity with a yellow skin overlaid with red white while its flesh is of yellow or yellowish orange color and is firm and sweet in taste lastly no irrigation manure fertilization and pesticides control is used for their irrigation varieties of peach peach varieties are mainly grouped on four characters that's flesh color melting nature of flesh stone adhesion flesh and chilling pigment cultivars hall frame nectar red one fantasia arctic snow summer fire arctic star sun glow may fire and flower top some popular nectarine cultivars cultivars olympia orex max plodogem ploda glow new belly tropic prince extra or some popular low chill peach cultivars here is another table in which i have discussed species and their characters here are three types of varieties of peach that's early season peach varieties mid season varieties late season varieties in early season there's alton world's earliest red heaven extra in mid season it's julia alberta alexander cosmith and in late season it's j chale parrot lux and pergerine in this slide you can see the different types of peach which i have discussed earlier here are some other cultivars of peach h hail peach prunus persica species and its characters are discussed on right left side of your screen here is another peach that's john fenix peach its characters are also discussed in the slide here is the red heaven peach its main character is that it became first commercial peach because it was the first peach of the season used for caning this is june gold peach and its characteristics here are some other varieties of peach here is another slide in which we will discuss the genetic resource management and conservation strategies for peach decentralized european prunus collection that is tepc was established with the agreement that each country is responsible for its own genetic resources an european gene bank integrated system aegis was also an initiative by ecpgr with objectives to conserve genetically unique and important accessions for europe gene bank of nbpgr regional station shimla india has about 22 indigenous and 27 exotic accessions namely summer glow nima god candor stark early glow rhodesum sun red dixie red cosmith snow queen peach s37 july alberta fire prince duke alton peach umbri luna etc recommended cultivars in india are shani punjab july alberta jh hail crawford's early locally selected as redlex red june saharanpur prabhar and florism the national clonal Germplasm Repository NCGR in Davis, California. Prunus Germplasm, except for 
the tetraploid series, including triad series, which are preserved at NCGR in Geneva, New York, and the ornamental prunus are maintained at National Arboretum in Washington, D.C. Fruit Research Institute of Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences maintains fruit germplasm checklist with the details of place of origin and other taxonomic and fruit characteristics. Ex situ or in situ management, in vitro culture, maintenance, crop preservation, seed storage, bone storage, establishment of seed orchards, especially for rootstocks, and protection of natural standard of seedling population in the forests. INRA Biotics is working on crop preservation of different stone fruits by using embryonic axis, shoot tips, and somatic embryos for wild population and varieties especially for three species namely Prunus avium, Prunus mahilep, and Prunus incipitia. The ECPGR Prunus Working Group Biodiversity International INRA Audix NPGS USA, GRIN USA and NBPGR India are some organizations actively involved in management and conservation of Prunus genetic resources. Here are some important questions regarding peach. Question number one is among temperate fruits which crop requires heavy pruning that is peach. Question number two is among temperate fruit crops which crop has lowest tilling requirement that is peach. Which type of fruit peach is that is true. Which among temperate fruit comes earliest in flowering is peach. Rootstock of peach resistant to root knot nematode is nematode. Peach is very susceptible to iron deficiency. At what temperature swelling but injury occur? That is minus 6.5 degrees centigrade. Which acid is predominantly present in peach fruits is acid. Natural hybrid of peach is prunus pemi. Peach rootstock that is tolerant to drought is myron. Here are the references of my presentation. Thank you so much and have a nice time ahead.